This is Sarah, and I'm here at the Planetary Robotics Research Facility here at ESTEC. And they were kind enough to invite me and Noodle back to play in their fancy sandbox behind me. So um, in just a second here, I'm going to wire Noodle up, and he'll be able to scoot around in the dirt and make some interesting tracks with his baby steps. So, yes. Mommy's gonna go do that now. So after I had been at ESTEC for a couple of days, people started asking whether or not the quadruped robot I brought with me was in fact capable of walking. And I felt kind of bad because I hadn't really prepared him to do so very gracefully at least. So uh, before this rendezvous at the Mars yard, I put forth some special effort the night before to upload one of Noodle's old test walk gates that got him to move forward, even if it is kind of stumbly and infantile. The Mars Yard and the Planetary Robotics Lab is where the rovers at STEC get to play pretend. It was created to simulate the terrain found on Mars, so it provides several different sizes of gravel and stone, as well as a variety of potential obstacles. This is so the engineers can test how well their software and robotic systems will perform when faced with similar encounters during the real mission. So while my hosts in the lab, Moritz and Ricardo, ran simulations, Noodle was allowed to go romp around and have a taste of what it would actually be like to wander through soft, cold Martian dirt. As for me, I got to kind of just wander around like a hovering mother getting as much video documentation as I possibly could, because it's not every day that my kid gets to leave tracks on Mars. He did leave some tracks though, like very, very, very light tracks. There's noodle marks. Noodle, you left tracks in Mars. You should go say hi to that robot over there and make a friend. Eventually the guys got their rover up and running and our kids were able to socialize in the middle of the sandbox. The robot that Moritz and Ricardo are piloting is a half-scale test platform of the ExoMars rover named ExoTer. It contains the same locomotive and navigation systems as its spacefaring bigger sibling, so that the engineers here may run proximate tests. Yeah? Yeah? Fight! <laughs> He's checking you out, Noodle. <laughs> so I just found out that the operating system that ExoTerra runs off of is called Taste. It's actually <laughs> called Taste, which is in the title of the project or the subproject that I'm working on right now, which if you don't know is the modes of taste. This is just one of many little quirky coincidental things that I learned while well at ESTEC that made me feel like I was in the right place at the right time. So this is where I'm meant to be in life. Yeah? Uh-oh. Jason, it's like a game of robot tags. They met in the middle and they're, they're doing the whole, I don't know, getting acquainted thing with robots. Some, some fashion show. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to remote control the uh, ExoTerra rover with uh, this controller right here. And um, you can see on the screen what the rover sees. You have to constantly press it. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, okay. Oh, the commanding is quite quick, yeah. Noodle, I see you. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, in, in the, in the... So it's modeled after... Yeah. It's like but a good, uh, good yeah, process. Right, trying to reproduce the behavior of yeah, Martian soil, right? Yeah, now, now you have a part of Martian. Never gonna wash the boots. Bye, Noodle. Bye. 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 They're gonna, they're gonna put your friend back, back to work. This has been awesome. Okay, so Noodle Noodle has officially played in the sand and he made a new friend today. They they met and they had an epic stare down in the middle of the Martian sandbox and I'm gonna I don't know, I'm gonna I'm about to take him home and clean him up a little bit because we are both caked in uh, red powder from head to toe. Mommy's very proud of you. <laughs>